I, le I probably left that doc those two documents here when I was scanning those documents for Jeremy Baker. Um, that's my fault. The, but those those two uh, Pacific Crest, uh, the 2015 and 2017 would have Errol Blumenauer, Jeff Merkley, Ryden Wyden, and and, and what, one more name that I'm forgetting. Uh, all these all these names are all goes back to the land grab from the state of Oregon, California, and Washington State. So we got to understand that these people, all their money is in, invested in real estate, which is land and minerals, which is why they're going after. Matter of fact, this is a prime example of what's happened. These right here are all the mining corporations that are involved in respects to taking your minerals. This is a Harney County. This is a Harney County, Oregon mines. There's two lists over over a hundred over a hundred companies, corporations that are invested in taking your minerals in which Ron Lydon's hedge fund is connected to all this, including Jeff Merkley, Greg Walden, Kate Brown, Anna J. Brown. So I want to validate that these, these, that these corporations are invested in gold, silver, copper, uranium. We have to understand that. This is where all the hedge funds come through, all through Wall Street. Matter of fact, I'm going to continue going forward that, uh, with respect to these hedge funds. Because guess what? When you have a financial gain, do you honestly think they're going to get justice? Do you honestly think they're going to, when you, uh, going to get justice when Anna J. Brown has hedge funds correlated to Harney County, Malheur County, and Baker County? All her hedge funds come through here. And how do I know? Like I said earlier, this is one page of Anna J. Brown investments right here. And I beg everybody to go ahead, and especially right now, our patriots are incarcerated to subpoena Anna J. Brown for her 2000. Uh, 13, 14, and 15. This is 2012. These hedge funds mature. And if anybody knows about hedge funds, they mature between 5, 10, 15, and 20 years. And it's called capital. And all these hedge funds, like I showed you earlier, are tied. And Anna J. Brown does have hedge funds that tie to the, to, uh, we call it to Callan, that ties back to the Harney County uh, Mining Corporations. And there was one mining corporation that, 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 that I have to bring out. And this mining corporation is called AJX. A J A X. J A X. J A or, or Jax or Ajax. Purchase right here. Purchase your land. Your, your your land. Which the remember Congress? No, the federal government cannot own land. Cannot rent, lease, send, transfer any kind of land. Yet they gave Ajax for ten dollars an acre. Ten dollars an acre. Which is it? Where, let me know, an American citizen or the people, anybody, or an individual that was able to buy a, a, what do you call it, an acre for $10, including they get to keep 50% of the minerals. Is that justice? How in the world can these criminals get away buy for $10 an acre and keep 50% of the minerals? Well, what happens to the other 50%? Where is those going for? China? Iran? Russia? Who? And why do I say these? Why do I say the? Why do I say China, Russia, Iran, and all this? Because guess who is behind this? We're gonna have Greg Walden, Ron Wyden, and Jeff Merkley with Andy Bentz, with Cliff Bentz's brother participating in a bill called S1113, Critical Minerals Policy Act of 2012, which it states right here that they're giving our minerals to China. On the second page, you're gonna see right here, China. Don't take my word for it. And it's under House Bill HR 4402. China's right there. China control over the REE market. What do you mean by REE market? St strategic minerals. Well, what kind of strategic minerals? We're talking about gold, silver, and copper, ladies and gentlemen. Your gold, uranium. silver, and copper. And the uranium, which is why we have now Calico Resource and Uranium One. Because those are the two fronts that went after that, that have ties to the Hammonds land which is why our patriots were there. So what the hell is our corrupt politicians like Greg Walden, Ron White, and Jeff Merkley with, with Andy Bentz, which he used to be a sheriff and has a, a, a corporation called Bentz Solution LLC with his brother Cliff Bentz and Linda Bentz. So what are they doing passing and participating in a bill called S1113, giving your silver, your copper, and your gold? I ask you to decide what's really going on. Who is being robbed? And why are our patriots being incarcerated? As I continue here, this is the other bill. 
HR4402, which, uh, which goes with S113. I beg every American to read up HR4402. And it says, Critical Minerals Procedures Act, Act of 2012, HR4402. And it says here, Chinese mining practice to provide for the earth minerals that the industry needs. And guess what? What kind of minerals are we talking about? Again, silver, copper, and gold. This is under calico, this is under calico resource. And now we're gonna go ahead and with respect to this other document that goes hand in hand for the 2013, the Critical Mining Policy Act of 2013. Here we go, we got Ron White's name on this with Lisa Murkowski from Alaska and Mark Baggage. What are they doing giving our minerals to, to, uh, to China? What the hell's going on? We, we elect these criminals to go represent us? Are they actually representing we the people? Who are they representing? Are they representing their hedge funds? Are they representing the corporations that have ties to the hedge funds? Are they re representing their friends and family that buying these lands a penny on the dollar? While we pay two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars for a house and a half an acre. Or not even a half an acre, and a quarter of an acre. What the hell is really going on? Who's really being defrauded? Who are the, who's in, whose best interests are they looking for? America, it's only for you to decide. Are we a republic or are we being operated under de facto government? They're stealing your minerals and your land. Where are they gonna leave for your children and your grandchildren? All these are new documents that are gonna expand it with the 12,000 do 12, documents that I have. All this is new. And I'm gonna go back to some of the old documents on why this is so vital, because back in fall of 2000, 2001, under the Steens Mine Act, these criminals were already knew with Harry Reid, all right, and Bill Clinton, and George Soros, and, and basically, and Hillary Clinton to the Clinton Foundation on the minerals that were in the Steens Mountain Act. And I'm gonna read the names. Steens Mountain, Act, Steens Mountain Corporation, Management and Protective uh, Area, called CAMP, the Gordon Smith, Representative Greg Walden, Stephen E. Grasty, Ron Wyden, and Jeff Merkley. Are they representing your interest? Or are they just representing their pockets? Here you go, Steen, the fall of 2001, implementing the Steen's uh, Alvaro Act, right here. And it continues on. Matter of fact, how does it continue on? It continues on because guess what? They participate in a committee called the Committee of Energy and Natural Resource. Here you go. You got Ron Wyden and Gordon Smith, and they're all connected to their hedge funds in which I showed the, uh, what we call Adam Wyden and D.E. Shaw. This is deep, this corruption goes deep. You're gonna see it, you're gonna see their names and what they participated in. Water, water Conversation uh, cons Conservation Fund. And guess who has Water, uh, uh, water Conservation uh, Fund? through the earmarks that Ron Wyden has participated because it's all connected to his hedge fund. All you gotta do is look at his earmarks, look at his uh, campaign contributions. Matter, matter of fact, I have his financial disclosures right here. All his financial disclosures of Ron Wyden from 2000, including his wife, from, 2000, from 2014, 2013, his financial disclosure forms are all connected to these hedge funds. Through the minerals, your waters, and your land. This is him right here. This, I didn't alter these documents. All I did was research it. But you got 2014, you got 2013, you got his wife, all connected here, and his sons, all connected to these hedge funds right here in his financial disclosure forms. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hold this criminal liable in all these unconstitutional laws that, that he's, he's been violating? Including Article 4 of the Bill of Rights, or the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights. Is he complying with Article 6, Section 2? Is he complying with Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17? Is he complying with any of the Supreme Court rulings? Or has he decided to ignore all that and continue the path of the Lewis and Clark, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, marching, marching orders in which all these criminals participated in? I mean, if you can run the courts and you can go to Salem and create your own bills and go to Congress and, and create your own bills, well, people, who do we go to? Yeah, under the o o Oregon Revised Statutes, ORS. Where do we go? Who do we go to? And this is where Scalia's came in in 1992, that we the people can form a common law grand jury. 
What is so hard for a Supreme Court justice to state that we are the fourth branch of government against criminals that I mentioned right here? Because that's what they are, criminals. Because they're defrauding we the people. They're defrauding our children and our grandchildren. This is affecting you and this is affecting our patriots and our falsely incarcerated. Let me continue on. No separation of power whatsoever. They have hijacked it. Lewis and Clark, the Lewis and Clark show has hijacked our entire judicial branch, all three branches of the government, including our learning institutions. When was the last time our learning institutions have taught us the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Federalist Papers, or the Bill of Rights? This is why we should act and consider them as treasonous. They're committing treason upon us. Here you go, the Oregon Energy uh, Facility Siting Council meeting. Right here. This, goes, this, goes, this old document goes with these new documents because they're all tied to the hedge funds that we just recently found. And guess what? And you're going to see the names right here. Gordon Smith, Ron Wyden, Representative Greg Walden, Senator Ted Ferrioli. Right here. And Stephen E. Grassley. Stephen E. Grassley, you're not immune to this with Dan Nichols because we know you participated in this with Sheriff Wolf. Which is why Sheriff Wolf back in 2013 was with the people and now he turned now he turned cut on us. So Sheriff Wolf, this goes to you too. Because I know it goes to you. I saw your picture with the Benz family in which you in which you're hanging out with Cliff Benz and Andy Benz on the lands. And this is not me, and guess what? Thank you for your Facebook picture because guess what? You're hanging out with this criminal. This is a criminal you're hanging out with. And guess what? You're not a constitutional sheriff. You're no different than this criminal, Andy Bentz. And his brother, Cliff Bentz, and using his law firm, Cliff Bentz using his law firm for minerals and land. Violating the Constitution. Mount here, Baker County, Her uh, Harney County, this is all, all you. This is your minerals, the ranchers, and also California, Washington State. This is gonna also affect you because they all participated in this. Here you go, right here. And guess what? Don't take my word for it. Look up public law, public law 106399, public law 106257, HR4828 and S1629, which is Senate, Senate Bill 1629, House Resolution Bill 4828 with the public laws. These criminals are defrauding you.